What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're getting in here and we're starting a new save, and we're not we're not we're not stopping the old save that we have the the main line that we have go in the cargo hub, uh, but we are starting a new save, and this one is going to be called the BNO Mountain Division, and this is loosely loosely based on in West Virginia. So currently we are at the town of Beckley. We have Charleston, Wheeler Ridge, and Huntington. So those are our four towns on the map. And the rest of the map consists of wood, iron ore, uh, the quarry, so stone quarry, coal mine, and four farms. So, and we have some stuff up here in the northern section too. So these cities only, they do con mat tools, um... Lumber, no, um, machines and bread. So we only have four different things to transport, like four different kind of industries to make and all that. Um, so it, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I made this map myself. First time I've ever done that. I spent, you know, $8 billion, as you can see down in my earnings <laughs> to build the map. But it is going to be pretty difficult because you can see like, just our lumber alone is, this is just, we're in the mountains. And so it's going to be rough go to get everything over to here, to Beckley, to the sawmill and to the food processing plant to start that process. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to start with um, the lumber and do that. So let's look at what we're going to do. And I think we need to, one, get a station in over here to handle all of this. So we're going to need at, we're going to need two lines and one for, well, let's see if we do that. We, we're we going to need four lines because we're going to need uh, incoming. I think we're going to do incoming grain on one line. We're going to do incoming uh, logs on one line and then we'll do outgoing food and outgoing lumber so first thing we need to do is and you can see like even over here it is it is um it's pretty intense it's pretty intense so let's go ahead and get a station put in we're paused right now just because you know if the I don't even know how much, what, what monies we have, uh, if we have like a loan or what we have. Um, whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. Oh, it's a, I think I click something over in here. I don't know. But let's see. I want to do not that. I want to keep the HUD icons on, but I don't want to do any of that in towns. Those are the ones we went on. Okay. All right. Let's get in here and let's start with a train station. And we have a lot of tracks that we probably won't be using, but that's fine. I have a lot of mods in. Most likely we won't be using, but they're there just in case. Uh, we want cargo. So we want a cargo station. And I think uh, what I'm going to do here is, for one, let's go ahead and delete these two roads. Get us some medium street in here. Let's actually go like this. And let's go like this. And then like that. Okay, and let's get this guy connected up over here.
Gonna be a little crooked, but that's fine. Okay. So in case we need to do anything to the town, because we'll also have stuff coming in um, from other places. So we will have in, we'll be having goods coming in. So if we do a cargo station, let's get, we just want to make sure that this guy is connected to both of those stations. And... Let's make sure all no to this. Uh, we'll go high speed and we're going to go three. I'm not going to go 320. I'm going to go one six, 240, 240 me trays. It's 600,000. What if we went standard? How much does that reduce it? Okay, let's go standard track for right now. Uh, I don't know how fast we can always change it. Okay, so let's get that in here like such. Okay. Now let's edit, let's configure this up. Um, tracks. We've got a lot of tracks, a lot of tracks. I'm just kind of looking at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd end up taking some of that track out. So this is <clears throat> standard track. So what if we go, this is electrified, electrified. What if we say, okay, we're going to say 120. Okay. And we're actually going to delete these. If we say okay, platform cargo okay, tracks. All right, and I need cargo platform. Okay. All right. So we will have, maybe we do it like this where we have incoming and then outgoing. So everything incoming will come in on the left-hand tracks. Outgoing to other cities. Incoming, outgoing to other cities, and incoming to industries. So let's say the ones on the left here are the ones that would be going out to other cities. And these incoming here will be the ones coming into in for in incoming outgoing to industries. So we also need to, I feel like we need to do this. Let's, uh, let's actually configure this again, configure and cargo buildings. Can I get this in here without it breaking things? So let's go ahead and put this on the other side. We'll keep this in there, but we will have that in as well. Okay. 
All right. Looking good. Looking good. Probably need to put in some uh, road over here as well. Eventually that will come this direction. All right. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and get one industry going. So we're going to start with these logs over to here. So I am going to say we're going to come out from this direction. So we're going to do smaller trains here. So I'm going to go here and we're going to do 80 meters. What's 120 look like? Let's go 80 meters for right now. And get this guy connected up over here. Okay. So we're going to have that one. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do more than one track. I think I'm going to go with one track for right now. Because we got to start getting things going. So let's do this. Two tracks. Oh, that's nice. Sweet. Fantastic. Oops. Nope, don't want that. All right. Uh, so I feel like I need, I'm going to need like a staging yard for all of this. So if we bring this out. Because we're going to have all of these are, be, are basically be coming into here. All of this stuff is coming into here. And I feel like once they, some of this stuff's going to go out to other cities. So we're going to need some sort of staging yard, I feel like, over here for trains to kind of pile into. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is kind of go like this. And then I'm going to delete these back. And come back in here. And um, I know I'm going to have these from over here. We'll figure that out. Okay. Actually, I'm going to delete that. We're going to leave that one. Okay. Staging yard. Here we go. Never built one. We're going to see how it goes.
trying to see how long these are. So what I need to do is get this guy into here. Like that, and then to there. Okay. Possibly, yes. That should be long enough, I think. Um, one way, yes. May not even need all these tracks, but, you know, why not? And then I'm going to put... That and that. So we can have at least four trains staging right there into here. Okay. Okay. Now for this one. So we need to get down the mountain and into here. So if we do out this way, let's get our train track over here situated. Again, this is a lot of hill hillage here. I don't want that. Let's go to there. This is as far down as we can go. Like we're going down all the way. It's insane how steep this stuff is right now. So instead of doing that, Let's uh Let's kind of run along the side here. What is it going to look like if I do it like that? I'm not mad about that. Also saves us a lot of money. Right. How much was it for the bridge? 197,000. Well, What if we put in a good looking bridge instead of that one?
I don't mind it. It's not terrible. It's got a snake through the mountains. You know what I mean? We got to do some snaking. So then that way I can also kind of go like this. And run that to the side here. For our next station around the mountain here. Okay. Uh, we also need a building. We need this. So, also thinking in my head right now. I'm going to slap that in right here. And... Too much slope. So... I'm thinking... That slope is crazy. Let's do this and then do this. Okay. This is going to be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Bye. Diesel. And we want an SD7. And we're going to go B and O. And we're going to hit one. And then we're going to go cargo. And this is wood. What is it? Does this haul wood? It does not. This does not. It does not. That hauls wood. We want it to be that one. Shit. Um, can I add one more? Bye. Okay. We forgot to put our line in. New line. From here to here. Yeah, it's fine. Um, wow. Beck... Beckley Forest uh, Vet Beckley
Beckley Forest number eight. Sure, that's what we're going to call it. All right, so because we have everything is okay, so we want to send this stuff. Let's go to this and uh, signals and can I just delete that one? Manage the line. And it needs to come in on number two. Aha. I also need to delete that guy right there. All right. And it runs out and around. Okay. And play. Here she comes. Oh, what's up, Mr. Engineers? Get out of the way, Elk! I gotta delete that. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this autosave. Let's see if we fit in this thing for one for one short so we need to expand this out I'm going to configure this and I'm going to do tracks and this and I'm going to give me, can I get me one more track in here? Platform. Car 
go platform. And I need to put in cargo building. This guy in here. Can I put this in here? Collision? Darn it. About this guy right here. Can I put him in here? Look at that. We'll see how much money we make. All right. Hell yeah. Also, we need to come over here, and there was a spot, if you saw it, right here. We needed to delete. Also, I'm going to make a couple changes real fast. Is that we're going to hit pause and I'm going to delete this. Um, like that. Because this is going to be all of the ones coming in, and this is the one going out. So I'm actually going to bring it down here like this, and then, you know, we could do, and I'm just thinking here, we can get it to over here before it makes it split. going to split it right there and give me a signal one way yes one right here let's throw one in here one in here that way we can get things like moving along if that makes sense. Not sure about this signal. It might have to come out. I think I'm going to remove that signal real fast. That way there's enough, <clears throat> there's enough space. So they're going to wait in the station to get out and go this way. And then once they're out here, they'll get along here. So the other idea was, you know, my, in my thoughts in my head are, we're not going to try to double track this. This is going to be, you know, they're going to have to do some waiting at some point. Um, so let's get these signals. This is not going to be one way. And I'm going to put that in here like this. And then actually, you know what we got to do? I don't even know if it'll work here. Uh, I believe that's under here. Got a lot of assets. Got a lot of assets. Uh, two tracks. Oh, you know what we need to do? 
want to delete that. Uh, two, we need to come in here and go like this. It's not a one way. Then we can come in here and go like this. Oh, it's a little off. Let's see if I can get these to move. There we go. All right, so they will sit right there and tell us a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Gilligan's Island. All right. Very nice. I lock it. There we go. Let's check the rest of our terrain. It should be fine for the most part. I don't want to spend too much money right now on this. Just a little bit. Make it look good. You know what I mean? That is fine. There she comes back. Amazing. All right. Well, that is the start of the BNO Mountain Division here in the Transport Fever 2. And with the amount of money we're going to be making, hopefully, from I mean, we're just going to continue on and hopefully we start making a lot of money because it's going to be very expensive to do all of this. So until next time here from the BNO Mountain Division here in Transport Fever 2, take care.